Hello, everybody. Oh my god, it's been so long, you know. It's so nice out this morning. You know, good old brisk five in the morning. Just chilling outside, listening to the birds shouting. You know, just the average morning. But, um, I wanted to just give you guys a little update, and then we're gonna do another just some chill time, you know? If any of you guys tuned into that, we're gonna do another one where we're just gonna relax, and I'll tell some stories. Um, so basically, just like a quick little update on the channel. I've been a little more focused on school than YouTube recently, because I'm just finishing up with 7th grade, as you all know. So, in the summer, I'm going to be uploading a lot more, so stay tuned. It'll be like every other day I'll make something. Whether I go back to the original format I was using back when I started my channel. Or if I decide to do something completely new, like, you know, like a vlog, a little food rating. You know, just the average stuff. Anyways, I'm just chilling on my front porch right now. Because it's, I woke up about 15, 20 minutes ago, and it's 5 in the morning, and it's really hot in our house, because summer's coming. So I thought I might just chill outside. Anyways, that's about all on channel news. Um, I do want to say that I have noticed, um, a couple of, hang on, I just need to move some stuff. I have noticed, um, a couple of people at my school have started watching my videos. One of the people there told me that they watched through all of them. So, um, any of my classmates from school, I know that some of you guys watch my videos. And, um, at school, you guys can give me, like, some feedback. Not anything, like, major, but just, like, the videos that you like, you know? That way I can kind of make more of that, you know, expand on that topic. Anyways, now let's just do some chill time, you know, just casual, front yard, a little bit of bird ambience in the background, you know, and I'm gonna just tell a story. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna talk about last summer. So, summer is probably, like, one of the best times of the year, in my opinion. I mean, like, yeah, it gets, like, a bajillion degrees here. I mean, we're just living in Wisconsin. I went to California last summer. Bro, I came back, like, entirely sunburned. sunburned. I look like a lobster. Anyways, basically, last summer was full of me hanging out outside. You see the White House over there, hanging out with the people over there, often going over there and just, like, playing in their backyard with them. You know, hanging out, playing in the street, listening to music. Chilling right here on this porch. You know, it was just a good time. Every once in a while, we'd go swimming. Um, just sort of like stuff like that, you know? Um, huh. Let me think of something else. Um, oh yeah, so basically, like, um, this new... This new ice cream store opened up here in Janesville. It's like just across from the old abandoned Sears. I don't know the name, but if you go there, I recommend you just get the plain mango nada. It's so good, dude. Like, honestly, that's all I really get there. Like, I've had a few of the other things. I know that the street corn that they have there is really good, but nothing tops their mango nada. Anyways, um... If you guys are wondering why I'm not in school right now, you know, because normally I would be in school. I mean, it's the middle of the week, but unfortunately, just last weekend on Saturday, my mom got COVID. So I don't have it at all. Like, I'm not experiencing symptoms. I feel completely fine and we're keeping away from her and wearing masks, even in our house. So we're just sort of staying to ourselves. And I'm genuinely feeling pretty good, so that's why I'm not at school. But, um, yeah. It's a little dark out here, wouldn't you say? I think I'm gonna turn on the light. 
just for a sec. <sighs> Alright, that's a little better. Yeah, that's what the lights look like. Expect to see a lot of those in the summer. Anywho. Another thing relating to summer that was probably a really big chunk of last summer was definitely summer school. Oh, it was horrible. If y'all have ever been to Marshall Middle School, just, like, honestly, run away. Like, it's genuinely the most horrible place I've been. Like, for a school, it was just horrible when I went there, alright? I mean, like, the building had no AC. Um, everyone there was an absolute jerk, you know? Like, honestly, some of the people there. I mean, I even met, like, one of those kids who has what I call Chihuahua Syndrome. Where, basically, they challenge anything that moves. And he said, I'm gonna beat you up after school! And I honestly could have just punted him. Like, genuinely, he was about two feet tall. And I could have lifted him up by the back of the shirt and just threw him. But I didn't. I told him... I'm gonna fight you on the last day of school. However, on that last day of school, uh, that was when our family was going to California. So, it was very funny. I was laughing on the airplane, knowing that some kid was waiting outside the school for me to show up so he can get folded. Anyways. Oh, yeah, speaking of the last day of summer school, um, throughout most of the month that we were in summer school, our teacher had us, like, building these, like, really crappy cardboard boats. Alright, they didn't even give us instructions. They just gave us sheets of cardboard duct tape, an X-Acto knife, and said, Here you go. Try your best. And at the end of the school month, for summer school, we would have to go out, like, we'd have to go in the swimming pool room and try and ride our boats back and forth across. And basically, that really short kid that I hated was on my team, along with a couple of other people who I just genuinely hated. So on the last day, I took a pencil. And their boat was the worst by far. Because, like, it was just really horrible. I mean, what the hell is that? Yo, there's a whole raccoon over there. I don't know if y'all just saw that, but there was a raccoon. I. Anyways, as I was saying, um, basically, on that last day, of, on that last day before we left for California, I was so, like, pissed off with the rest of the team. I mean, their boat was just five pieces of cardboard stacked on top of each other with, like, flimsy duct tape edges and they expected one of them to float on it. And honestly, it did not work. Like, they tested it, apparently. They tested it and took it down to a lake or something but the the cardboard wasn't wet at all and they said it worked just fine and every single time i tried telling them this is not going to work they just said oh yeah it is we already tested it it works great so since the boat wasn't wet at all and apparently they had rode it across a small lake most likely lion's beach which i'll talk about in a minute basically after that, they said that it worked perfectly fine, and I already knew it didn't, but I just wanted to make things worse because I hated all of them. So on that last day before we went to California, I took my sharpest pencil and just stabbed several holes through the entire boat. So I was laughing about two things on the plane. One, the kid waiting outside- no, one, knowing that their boat was going to sink and they would have to go to the bottom of the pool and pull out all that freaking wet cardboard. And two, knowing that this now soggy kid was sitting outside the school waiting for me to show up. It was really just quite funny. Oh, and the drive there and back. We didn't drive at all. Every morning, mom and dad woke us up about 8 o'clock and said, Alright, get going. Tossed us downstairs. No breakfast. Because that's how it is in our family. There's never breakfast most of the time. Unless it's the weekend or stuff. So. Because we never have time. But then they just toss us out the side door. We go in the garage. Get our bikes. And then ride 15 minutes to Marshall Middle School. 
Like, honestly, I'd rather drive directly into oncoming traffic. But, anyways. What I did like about summer school is that they allowed you to have your phone out. So I was just 1v1ing someone in Clash Royale. One of the other classmates. In the middle of school. Just like under my desk. I was just clicking things, you know? Ah, but that was only one time. Then they said you have to put your phone away during class. Anyways, then we had to ride back, and I think one of the saving graces that kept me sane during all of this, because, like, honestly, it was so draining. You woke up every morning, rode 15 minutes in the hot sun. Like, honestly, I rode my bike for so long that eventually my arms just turned completely red. Like, my wrists, red. Like, ruby red. Because I was just constantly holding them out on the bike handles, you know? Anyways, I think my one saving grace during this was probably this very good YouTuber that you all should really check out, Kevin Temmer. Okay, I'm gonna put his name in the description. And you just need to look it up. His channel is amazing. He just kind of makes, like, animations, you know? Like, he'll make the occasional animation, like, a really catchy song. Like, honestly, I can't get his latest song, Somebody Else, out of my head. But his animation style is very interesting. He has an entire series of them. And honestly, they were just kind of my saving grace, because I knew that at the end of the day, on my bike ride home, I could just have my phone playing in my pocket, like the brand new Kevin Temmer song coming out. I remember the big hit in the summer was the moon rap. I don't know, it wasn't that good, but like, it certainly helped. <sighs> Anyways, Lions Beach, that's what I was going to talk about next. So our family was driving around, like it was me, Mom, Oliver, and William, because one of our friends who, has the, who had an indoor swimming pool, you guys might remember him from some of my old videos just like talking about him, his name is Jacob. But basically, recently he actually moved to a place right really close to Marshall Middle School. So every time we walk, so every time we drive there, I have a mini aneurysm every time I look at that school. I never, I never want to go back there, like, involuntarily. But if I really want to, I will go back there and beat that one kid up. Because honestly, it still kind of boils my blood to this day. That he genuinely thought that he could fight me. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So we were driving around, looking for another place to swim. We all had our swim trunks and goggles on. You know? And we pull up across this place called Lions Beach. It's like a mini man-made beach right in the center of, like, like, right next to the golf course and the rotary gardens. Anyone who lives nearby, you know where that is. But basically... Every once in a while, we drove down there, and it was very fun. And we all just sort of, like, hung out on the beach, went swimming, tried to catch some fish, and failed miserably. Um, but yeah. Overall, summer's a pretty great time, excluding summer school. And also, Mom and Dad make the best food in the summer. I mean, you already knew. You would be running around outside playing street soccer with the homies. I'd have the food from the yellow house and from the white house right here, right out in our front, like right out here on the street, and we'd just be kicking a soccer ball around, you know, messing around, riding around scooters, whatever, you know? Or we would go down to Adams Elementary, it's somewhere down that way. Um, but yeah. But then, Mom and Dad, they would lean out the door, and this was probably the best part of the day. Because they would say, boys, come in, time for dinner. Then you would come in, and they'd give you, like, the best friggin' food. Like, it didn't matter what it was, it just tasted very good. I... Anyways, I've been talking so long now, that it's actually gotten bright outside. Huh, it's only been 15 minutes. Um, I'm ended off at exactly 15 minutes. But basically, guys, like and subscribe. It helps my self-esteem. Let's keep this train going so I can live stream and finish with 7th grade. Alright. I'll be uploading a lot more then. 
Anyways, I hope you all have a very good day. This was just some chill time with Damien via... Have a good night. Bye.